Hello and welcome to the Craft Man Show. My name is your host, the Craft Man. What? My name is your host, the Craft Man. And today, buddy, y'all, in Jackson Molding. Craft Man, what? Boom, shaka talk. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I can finally use the letter right here I got from the dollar store. Uh, the reason they were so cheap is because they ain't got no magnet on them. Look at that right there. So all you can do is do lay them down somewhere, which worked great for me. When I first got into interest to make my own toy, my own action figure, all right, the very first thing I learned about was injection molding. I was very, very interested. I said, you know what, I'm going to give me uh, injection molding machine. It might take me three years, five years, something to pay that thing off to make it pay for itself. But I said, you know, at least it would be an investment and I can just make my own figurines and things. The number one thing, the reason Craftman did not do injection molding is because of not the machine, not the equipment. It's because of the cost associated with doing these molds right there. To have a mold made, of one little piece. You got your little head to come on, huh? Uh, little, little arms and things like that. To have the molds made cost more than the machine itself. Yeah, right. The little arms and things like that. And you know. And then you got your little, uh, do, 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 little figurine right there. So, Craftman did end up making toy, little figurines and things. But the way I did it, I just went the route of silicone and resin. So every little piece I need to make, I just would make me. A mold of it right there, out of silicone, all right? I've shown y'all about molds and resin and mold making and out there before. I just want to uh, really explain something here to you, just the difference between this and what I'm about to show y'all. The immediate little downside I ran into with making resin tiles and figures is that bubble, 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 bubble getting all up on it, all right? Then you have to pressure cast your pieces and leave a carrot under pressure. So that's going to collapse all them bubbles, all right? But you say, crap, man, that's going to take a long time for one piece. That's right. Then you have to make a several molds, all right? Power it up, power it up. Put the lids on it, put the lid, and put them out there in my pressure pot. And close it, put that pressure to it. And then you got your little part made right there for your body. And then I said, but I want my pieces to be as strong as they can be, uh, tough as a, uh, a Star Wars, hello. I want my pieces to be really uh, tough, you know, like a, a Star Wars figure. I don't want to take her and just go on ahead. Let's see, let's see, can we do that? Let's see, you know. I said, I need my piece to be tough. So I found me some resin that was tough, but you know, some of them did not have the spring activity. Uh, two them. And then some of them just was, you know, brittle like that right there. I mean, obviously somebody probably not going to sit there and just, you know, if it's a designer figurine that you're selling, uh, probably, uh, people probably not going to sit there and just break it, you know. But I said, I wanted to be able to hold up, you know. And I did a whole video about flexible resin. And for anybody interested right now, if you don't want to go any further and you say, crap, man, hold up. I didn't need to know what's a good resin to you. I ain't going to do injection molding. All right. A smooth cat 45D is pretty good. Uh, you can get that to break if you do a sharp enough bend on it. But it's good enough, you know, smooth cat 45D. Specialty resin company. Uh, Flexi 90 is a real good one. It's got a good uh, flexible to it. A uh, sim pack by Smoothcast is a real, real tough uh, uh, resin. 
that you can look into. And you got the uh, TS-16, different one. But anyway, I'm getting off topic. So uh, let me just skip on here. Grab man got a, a plastic injection mode right there. Look at them. And so you probably thinking, Craft Man, you told me the mold was expensive and thing. How come you did that? Uh, number one, the plastics that you can use with the work with aluminum molds, all right? Then you can make you something like that for uh, not hardly a lot of money and it's going to hold up a long time. This is the whole thing that got me excited right here. All right. What if you could just have your silicone uh, be up in us right here? And so you take your little character here and you just build your mold up in there like you normally would and run your little spot down out to it. All right. And if you don't want to use silicone, then you could just use epoxy. And by the way, Craftman has already proven in a previous video that these molds right here, this silicone, can hold up to melt the pewter. That's over 400 degrees right there. But if I were to cut my little spot, cut my spot, and try to injection mold that, it's flexible now. It's just going to, you know. So we got it bolted down. We done a little adjustment on it. And now if we look at our little mold right here, it should come on in and fit right into place. All right, the 158 came with the mold sample right there. And let's do that again. Hold on. Let's see. Let me get my focus. It also came with some plastic right there. This is polypropylene natural, uh, AKA PP net. So we're going to set the machine to, uh, let's set it to 410 degrees. All right. And mold temperature right there, what's that mean? Well, if your mold is too cold, uh, when you go to start injecting it, that plastic is going to cure too fast, all right? So if, uh, if you want to, you can set your mold onto a hot plate, get your heat gun, do something, and that's going to bring it up to temperature. In the process of just shooting your hot plastic up into it, it's going to warm up the mold in a way. In fact, you don't want to handle this mold unless you got some gloves on like that right there. Look at that right there. One of the wonderful benefits of this is in a little piece that you got left over. You just can't hang on to that. You could dump it back and not keep on reusing it. Let's try this blue low density polyethylene right here. And so that's what it looks like when you have a plastic uh, one color, one tight steel up and uh, and you come in behind it with another. Uh, and you actually could probably use that to get some extra stem results, you know, but uh, we want to try get a, just a blue one of these. And we just are a little heart making machines right now, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that right there. Let's try to make us a little robot right there. And so we got it adjusted where uh, it's going to hit right there. And clamp it. And shoot the plastic mm -hmm. into it. Now 
we go. I wonder if we can make us another one just real quick. Let's see. And probably I'm taking these off pretty quick. You might want to let them cool down a little bit. I think a good workflow is going to be uh, the, when I take one off of the all right, and put it over here. I'm going to leave it sip a little bit. That's when I'm going to dump in my next plastic. All right, that's going to let the mold cool down. All right, and it's going to let that plastic be melted. Then I'm going to open it, take it out, excuse me, take it out, reload the mold, inject another one. You know, you get your little workflow figured out. So what all types of plastics can we use with the low density polyethylene, which comes in a variety of colors, polypropylene, also in a variety of colors, thermoplastic vulcanate. If you need something that's more like a, a rubber, that's your one right there. There's also the option of thermoplastic urethane. Uh, polyurethane right there. That's going to give you some flexibility. Thermoplastic elastomer. If you need parts that flexible, uh, can hold up, that seems to be a good one right there. Uh, you can actually inject ABS with the machine. The same that they use to make Lego uh, bricks from. And then we also got glow in the dark polyethylene. Also, you can just recycle plastic. Not only can you recycle the plastic that you bought to use with the machine, all right? You can use plastic from jugs and things like that. If you would like to see a video that's all about the different types of plastics, what LDPE, what polypropylene, what number two plastic mean, what's number three plastic, what, which ones do I want to avoid? Let me know, and I might just do us a little bit of all about recycle plastic. And that's going to bring me to the next thing which is pros and cons of injection molding versus uh, resin casting, all right. Expensive to get into compared to silicone and resin, which uh, is also expensive, but just not as expensive up front. All right, the shot size right there. Uh, you're going to be limited to smaller items because it's a 1.1 cubic inch shot size. You can make tall things. It just means that think of a one inch cube and that's how much a glob of plastic that you can shoot with the machine at one time. All right, the pros uh, to this. One thing is fast, all right. The next thing for me is bubble, gone, gone. And like I said a minute ago, you can recycle. And so, you know, just some things to consider. A very special thank you to LNS Technology. Uh, disclaimer, I, I bought the machine. It's not a... Uh, a sponsored video or nothing like that. I just wanted to get into injection molding. I came back with a lot of questions and uh, he answered my questions and he's been very helpful. Send me that right there. Uh, some of these molds is available on their website if you want to get started right away. Uh, that one's right there, not available. He just straight up gave that to me. And I just appreciate that so much. Cause I like little robots and things like that. That's a little maker bot right there. And send me these samples and things to look at when I was trying to decide on different plastics and things. Cause they just an overwhelming variety of things that you can inject. All right. And so because of all the plastics that this machine can inject, you're not going to be injecting a PVC plastic. All right. Polyvinyl chloride. That's what they are. Mainly, you know, that's what's done overseas. Uh, done that in China. Uh, PVC is very durable, but you're dealing with toxic fumes and things that, you know, a DIY workshop, you don't want to be uh, fooling with that. Also, PVC, the mold have to be a durable steel mold, all right, because PVC can be corrosive. With this plastic right here, you can use aluminum, and that's just so many more times cheaper. But if you don't want to fool with having somebody CNC or uh, molds for you, 
Then I got some real good news. And that's what this right here surprise. I gave y'all a little hint about this before, but this going to be for another video. Uh, I just show it to you. I don't know why. I don't. I just go ahead and show it to you anyway. Craft man, why did you do that? Just ruined the whole surprise. I know, but I don't like doing that. Them cliffhanger, you know. You have to join me next time for this to learn more and just keep watching and doing that. Anyway, you can do that with it. I'm going to show you how to do that though in the next video. Uh, as far as uh, cleaning, you know, maintaining, there ain't a lot you have to do with it. When you get ready to injection mode, turn it down, whatever plastic that you had left in it, it's just going to melt and come on out, you know. And there's a, a TPV, and I wanted to change over to the gray polypropylene. So I got a few of these seahorses that mix until I got to the uh, polypropylene right there, plastic, hard plastic. I hope y'all enjoyed this. They all kinds of possibility to this right here, but don't ever feel like you limited. They is always more than one way to cook fried legs, so you know. Thought I, thought I heard something. Try to say something good one day about somebody. They are going to thank you. The other day on my anniversary, my wife and me one, uh, I went up into the living room dressed like Crocodile Dundee. I pointed over at my wife. I said, that's a wife. I love y'all and keep steady crafting.